Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Diesel Electric Rail Motor Preservation Association of Victoria and also to the restoration of our associated equipment company, that's AEC, uh, Regal Mark III 41 seat side cab bus. Uh, these buses were quite iconic in the Melbourne area. They operated between 1953 and 1980, so a lot of people still remember them. The videos that you're about to watch were made uh, for our patrons that support us financially through the Patreon channel. And if you think these are good value, then you're welcome to do that as well. And I'll leave a, um, a link to our Patreon channel in the description below. Uh, the members decided that they would uh, like to see these videos released when they reach their uh, 12 month anniversary. And currently we have quite a few videos from 2018 and 2019. And of course the 2019 ones are still building uh, as our restoration uh, uh, progresses. If you decide that you think that these videos are good and you want to come over to Patreon, uh, you need to be warned that you'll need probably a box of muffins and, uh, and a large thermos of tea. After you've made the financial pledge to us, uh, you'll unlock all those videos and you will be able to um, sit there and view the whole lot of them. Uh, and there's a huge amount of them there now. Um, if you decide not to do that, that's fine. Uh, you can come over and just enjoy these as they uh, are released. Please enjoy the following video as we uh, move forward and progress the restoration of AEC 560 back into heritage service. And as that famous bunny says, it's on with the show. Uh, I will now hand you over to myself when I was a year younger. So please enjoy the video. Hello, how are you going? Welcome to, back to On The Buses. Today's a uh, working day of the association and uh, on On The Bus we hope to get the following work done. We hope to get the, uh, all this in here um, wire wheeled and cleaned so that we can finish attaching our number one panels. These number one panels as you might be able to see if you come in here they wrap around the inside of the driver's cab so before we're able to attach them we're going to need to treat them with our uh, rust preventative paint like we have already up the top here and uh, we need to finish that off down here and then we can affix the uh, number one panel and once the number one panel and everything's in place and the, the uh, A, B and C we're then able to uh, come along with the dress strips and finish the whole thing off. So that's a, a, a job we want to get done today and, uh, and we also want to get the brake cylinders off and we'll just go down and have a look at the brake cylinders now. So, to, so today what we want to do is uh, we want to get these uh, brake cylinders off, the clamps the cylinders themselves, they've all been disconnected by uh, our cliff already uh, underneath. So these should be a straightforward job to pull off. Uh, but then saying that, nothing's ever straightforward, so uh, we'll struggle with these today, but hopefully at the end of the day we'll get these off. We've got a couple of other tasks that we uh, need to do as well, and uh, we'll be concentrating on them first and then coming to this second. So whether this gets finished or not, I don't know. But we'll take off the brake lines, take off the brake cylinders, take off the clamps, and then we'll be in a position once we're, that's, we're free of all that stuff off the shaft to remove these um, hold down bolts that hold the lamination, the strengthening bit rather at the chassis and the shaft and the shaft um, in place. They'll be fitted bolts like the other ones were and, uh, and then we can start sliding stuff around so that we can get into the next one. And then once we're in there, we can take them out of the slot and then push them all out and then get these out. We're getting close to getting these out now, which is a good thing. And once these are out, we can really assess where we're going with all of this. So uh, we'll bring you back in when we're doing a, uh, a bit more and, uh, and hopefully uh, you'll get to see uh, more progress. So thanks very much. Okay, um, what we're going to do today now is we're going to remove the, uh, there's a locking screw there that locks this brake cylinder onto this shaft. So we're going to remove that and then we're going to remove these two um, clamps that clamp this, the, the top clamp to the brake cylinder. And that should free the brake cylinder up and then we'll pull the uh, brake cylinder out of position. We've released the airline and we've released the airline on this side so this brake cylinder should come out. The other side will be exactly the, uh, the same so we'll show, we'll show this side being done and, uh, and then we will um, 
um, turn it off and the other side's just the same. We'll bring you back in when we've finished that. So I'll just use this. And those brake cylinders, that brake cylinder's, oh, that brake cylinder's quite free as you can see. And there's the brake cylinder off the, uh, from the offside. Um, what we'll do now is we'll seal up all these holes that are on the brake line and, uh, and then give this a bit of a clean and, uh, and check it out. Now before we go any further, I'll just make sure that we put the, the clamp back on the way that it came off so that we know that uh, we've got everything around the right way. So we'll go on and do the other side now and uh, and uh, bring you back in when we've uh, got that off as well so thanks a lot right it's going okay uh, ladies and gentlemen so as you can see we've now got the brake cylinder off the offside and we've got the brake cylinder off the uh, near side uh, they came off pretty much the same way and uh, now we've got free access as you can see into those bolts and uh, we can get into a process now where we can start pushing them out and uh, once we've got them out, that frame stretcher will be free, hopefully. And, uh, and what we'll do with that frame stretcher is we'll move it back up here, get it out of the way so that we can get access to the third one. And once we've got the third one out, we're then free to, um, to push them all forward and, uh, and get these uh, plates out. This is a cow of a job, but you know, it's just one of those things we have to do. And uh, we've got to do it to satisfy the you know, Vic Roads engineer. And ultimately he's the one that's certifying it fit to go back on the, uh, on the road. So, you know, we, we move forward and that's how things go. So uh, we'll bring you another bit in a minute. Good. Let's get them in. Let's come on, Let's get them all easier now. I can, I can go get you a big ratchet. No, no, this is alright. Yeah. Much easier with a bigger breaker, but. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, our um, camera that we normally use for bringing you these segments. Uh, went flat, so I'm using another device, my mobile phone. <laughs> the, um, if you have a look down here, you'll see that we've been successful in removing the, um, the back frame stretcher. That's now free. We've also moved this frame stretcher up, and, uh, and we've also uh, removed, which we thought would have been a cow, but it came out reasonably easy, the uh, centre frame stretcher which is the handbrake lever so that pivots backwards and forwards when you operate the handbrake and uh, and operates the uh, scissor bars and puts the brake on the uh, bus so all in all we've had a really good day's work and uh, and now we uh, are in the process of packing up and uh, we're really happy with what we've done what we've achieved and, uh, and we bring it to you guys so that you can have a look at it and, um, and uh, thanks for joining us on patreon and and this is the end of today's On The Buses segment. And, uh, and we look forward to bringing you back in another day. So thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again. I hope you enjoyed that video and, uh, and you found it worthwhile. If you did, could you please leave us a thumbs up 
and any comments that you've got can be left in the comment section below. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below and, uh, and then after you've clicked the subscribe button you click on the bell and, uh, and that will ensure that you get an email every time that we um, uh, post up a new video. You can of course uh, subscribe to us through Patreon in which case you'll be brought straight up to date you unlocks all the videos and uh, and your financial pledge to us will be very much appreciated and we can continue on then with um, our restorations and uh, for uh, viewers in the United States that uh, pledge is four dollars and for viewers in Australia it's five dollars fifty and for viewers in Great Britain it's three pounds and twenty pence uh, this monthly financial commitment will unlock all the videos as I've just said and you can then be brought up to date with what we're doing. If you choose not to do that, then please follow along with our progress here. For more information on our organisation, I have included in the description below a link to our organisation but there's no information on the um, bus here at the moment, it's all on our rail vehicle that we operate. And uh, I'd also like to extend my sincerest thanks to you for watching the video and uh, we look forward to seeing you in more videos. So uh, stay safe and bye for now. Bye bye.